What's going on everyone? It's Coach Angelo and today I got a special video for you all. In today's video, I'm going to be interviewing my brother. We're going to be talking about his weight loss journey, what inspired him to start this journey, and if his story inspires you guys to do the exact same thing, make sure you guys stick to the end of the video. We're going to have an opportunity to be able to help you guys transform your body and become a better version of yourself. that are new to my channel. My name is Angelo. I'm a fitness and nutrition coach that specialize in body transformation clients. And the whole goal for my channel is to be able to help you guys transform your body, boost your self-esteem, boost your self-confidence, and make sure that you are enjoying every step of this amazing journey. So now let me pass over the mic to my brother so he can introduce himself to you. So Daniel. Hi guys, thanks for having me Angel and I want to also thank everyone for taking the time to watch this video. First of all, the reason why I chose this path was because, like Angel said, build your self-esteem. It's one thing I lack is no self-esteem. Having disabilities is one thing, being overweight is another thing. And combine those two things together, pretty much makes myself my worst nightmare. And I was taught from an early age from my parents that no matter what people think of me, I should love myself for who I am, but that's not enough. If it's okay for someone to say, you know, you can't lose weight because you're just a disability, but that's not true. I knew that if I can, if I want to accomplish this, it's possible. And at the end of the day, I chose this path because I want to be healthy, live a long life, and be confident in myself. Where in the future, I can talk to people, approach people, and and they will look at me and say, "Well, this this guy has a nice body," and and not saying that to make myself look good, but more of a sense that you know, if he can, if he can be this fit, why can't I? That's a great story to pretty much share. So Daniel pretty much touched base on a few key points. That same thing when I'm having a conversation with someone when they want to transform their body or they want to accomplish their fitness goal, I always ask them, why do you want to be able to do this? It's one thing for you to say, I want to lose 30 pounds, I want to lose 40 pounds, or if you want to try to actually gain muscle, I want to gain five to 10 pounds. It's one thing for that, just to have the number, but it's to really ask yourself at the end of the day, why do you want to do this? Because having that one number, it's one thing, but you need to have a deeper why on what is going to motivate you to do the necessary work that you need to do every day to make sure that you accomplish your goals. So thanks for sharing that, Daniel. So Daniel, you want to share with one, why did you want it to really lose weight? So I know you did touch base on, uh, like you mentioned how you want to do it for your health and kind of boost your self-confidence and self-esteem. Is there anything else that, like any other reason on why you wanted to lose weight? Basically, the only reason why I wanted to lose weight is because I wanted to show people that, you know, if I'm overweight, it will kind of make me look bad in the sense that it will have a bad stigma for people with disabilities. Because people think that the reason why I'm overweight is due to my disability, but that's exactly not true. If I can accomplish my weight goal while also eventually Woken up, obviously not as much as him, but it is somewhat that will show people that, you know, if I can do it, there's no reason why anyone else can. So, yes, I do want to look good, but it's not for myself, it's for other people, because I feel like the one goal I'm trying to accomplish in my life is to show people if I can do anything, you can as well. Never doubt that in your mind. So, Daniel did touch base on a few key points that is going to help you guys to really inspire and accomplish your goals. So, it's one thing to make sure that you're doing it for health reasons, but also you want to boost your self-confidence. But in Daniel's situation, being a person with a disability, he wants to encourage you guys to do the exact same thing. So if you're someone in his situation, or if you're just someone that suffers from low self-esteem, his story is gonna help you guys to realize that you could do the exact same thing. It just comes down to, at the end of the day, asking yourself that deep question on why do you wanna do it? Because when you really have that deep why, nothing in this world is going to stop you from accomplishing your goals. So thanks for sharing that, Daniel. No so Daniel, so you did answer my other question, my second question on what really motivates you to reach your fitness goal. Now, my third question is, how much did you weigh when you first started? When did you start it? How much do you weigh right now? And what is your end goal? So I first started, which say, beginning of November, say November 1st. 
I was probably 215 around November. Now, currently, the day of my birthday, I guess you could say it's the best birthday gift I can ever got. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, by the way. No way. And, uh, how old are you? 26. He's 26, so he's four years younger than me. I'm the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, um, right now, I'm 184, and I'm happy to admit that. Nice. So, you're 184. So, you went from November, you were around 215? Yes, correct. So, you were 215 in November, and then now from the day of your birthday, which is February, you were, what, you're 185? 184. Okay, and then back in November, because I know you did mention to me that you have a goal of reaching how much weight, like, by your birthday? Well, I'll probably say 187. I can say we smashed that goal. Nice. Perfect. So, that's one thing that could really help like for most of you guys is to write it down on a piece of paper on what you want to reach and have a and have a goal date so this is going to help to make sure that you hold yourself accountable and then i'll also have uploaded on the video right here some progress photos of daniel when he was before and then currently now so that's great i'm not sure if you mentioned what is your end goal like how much do you want to get down to so basically i see probably 160 165 but I'm not gonna stop there. I wanna bulk up, you know, not as much as him, but Try to get as much like muscle mass as me. <laughs> somewhat, you know, so a little bit of muscles, just a few action, you know, a little bit of abs won't hurt. Not a six pack, but anything close to that won't hurt. Okay. But you did put on some lean muscle mass like during this time. So like you could still lose weight and gain muscle at the same time. You just want to make sure that you incorporate some sort of resistance training in your program. So it's not just doing cardio or being on a caloric for deficit. You do want to make sure you do some weight training. So that's good. Next question for you and probably kind of like the biggest and one thing that you want to share with everyone is, has there been any challenges that you've been faced so far? Yes. Tracking my food is the hardest. Okay. So you track your food. What about tracking your food has been the hardest? Well, I was the type of guy where I just eat anything I want. I'll be like, oh, it's okay. It's just one more cookie or I just eat that, whatever. But now it's got to a point where I had to scan my food, measure it. And every time I eat, go on my fitness pal and track that. And at first it was hard, but now it's like second nature. That's like, that's like grabbing my phone and second nature. Scanning my food and measuring it is just next to nothing now. Yeah, because I can remember even like from before, I was always trying to tell Daniel that he's got to be mindful of what he's eating. Uh, Cause I'll look at like he'll like you'll make what like a peanut butter and jam sandwich and put like maybe three tablespoons of peanut butter and that one sandwich would be over a thousand calories. Either putting uh, peanut butter or even using a Nutella or even especially like mayonnaise. Yes. Which those are not bad food options or those are not bad things to eat, but you just want to be mindful on the quantity that you're using. You don't you don't want to use too much because even with peanut butter you might put it in a scoop, but then maybe you might put in some more and then what you think might be only 100 calories might be 300 calories. So, and like Daniel like mentioned, the hardest thing in the beginning was tracking his food. It's like any new thing that you guys started in the beginning. Building a habit and being consistent is the hardest thing, but once you start doing that or once you start being consistent and you build a habit, it becomes second nature. Like you mentioned in the beginning, tracking his food, it was a bit of a chore, but can you say now that it's become like, like you mentioned, like second nature? Yes, 100%. Again, go back to what your main goal is, your biggest why, and then all those small stuff that you need to do on a daily basis, always ask yourself when you wake up in the morning, why do you want to do this? And then all everything you need to do on a daily basis becomes second nature. So thanks for sharing that, Daniel. So we did touch base on how much did you lost so far. You went from 215 to around 185 now from yes. November to February. And you did mention by the summertime you want to try to get that 160, maybe add some muscle mass in your body. Yes. Good. Is there anything else that you want to share with the people back home that are watching? Something that might be able to encourage them and inspire them to kind of do the exact same thing? Yes, 100%. Just, just know that if there's ever a time that you feel you can't do something, regardless of what abilities or what problems you may face, just know this. Life is short and you don't want to live life with regret. So if someone in my situation that still suffers from low self-esteem, but I'm working on it, if I can do this, can't imagine how just doing this interview is how much it's scaling me. But I know that this, this is not just for my own sake, to help you guys. So if I can do it, Anyone else can. And one more thing, I'm a big Batman fan, and one thing he says in one of his movies that really inspires me, and I have it written down on my on my hand as a tattoo, is it's not who I am underneath, but it's what I do that defines me.
Remember that, guys. That's some really inspiring work, guys. Just how uh, Daniel mentioned is really doing this to help build his self-esteem and self-confidence. Like you mentioned, being able to being on the camera, pretty much having this interviewing and talking to all of you back home. This is something, Daniel. Like, can you say that is really put you outside your comfort zone? A hundred percent, yes. And that's the biggest reason that when I have a conversation with a lot of people, when they want to be able to transform their body, and the main thing when they tell me they want to lose weight. When we really get down to it, the biggest reason is building their self-confidence and self-esteem. Because at the end of the day, what you do and what you accomplish is gonna dictate on what you're gonna be able to do for the rest of your life. Because when you build your self-confidence, you could accomplish anything else that you wanna do. Now, it's one thing for me to tell you guys my story, which is almost kind of like similar to Daniel. I did suffer from low self-esteem and low self-confidence. If you were to tell me 10 years ago, that I'll be making a YouTube channel, I'll be on camera making videos like this, talking to hundreds of people, or even just being able to meet new people every day, having a conversation, I would probably say, no, that's not the case because I did suffer from low self-esteem. But like I mentioned, it's one thing for me to share my story, for someone else to share their story, I hope that that's gonna inspire you guys to do the exact same thing. So. Right before we end this interview, Daniel, is there anything else that you want to share? Any kind of final words? I have a saying that makes me famous. Yes, I can. Always remember that. If I can say yes, I can, you can as well. So the whole reason for doing this interview again is to help you guys inspire yourself to do the exact same thing and to make sure if you have any self-doubt in the back of your mind that you can't do this, listen to Daniel's story again and make that mental connection that at the end of the day, you could accomplish this as well. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you guys are looking to transform your body, you need some additional help and support, click the link in my description. This is what give you an opportunity for me to help you transform your body. And to make sure you check out my other fitness videos, plus I do have some food recipe videos on my channel that you guys could watch, that you guys could still enjoy the foods that you love and still be able to lose weight. So. Hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take Peace care out. guys.